loves, Kara here, welcome to my channel. Today I wanna to do a little bit something different. I wanna to talk to you guys about fragrance and perfume, which I'm super passionate about because I have a thing for smells. I have a very strong nose, I love a good scent. I, everyone wants to smell good, or I think everyone should, <laughs> and I particularly love to smell good. Um, so I just kinda of wanna to talk to you guys about fragrances, a little 101 on fragrances, and how to pick your signature scent and kinda of help guide you guys in the fragrance world. Um, so keep watching if you guys are interested. Also, I just want to side note mention, I put this on my Instagram, but this red lip I'm doing today, very simple look, it is NARS Lip Pigment in Star Woman. It was like a little sample I got at Sephora, so I got this little like baby guy. And it is amazing. I love this thing. This makeup, first of all, is from this morning. It is, it is 318, just for proof. It is 3.18. I put this face on at 11 a.m. I've had these lips on since 11 a.m. And I have eaten pad thai, I have been kissing on my niece, and I had a Starbucks drink. I still got my Starbucks drink. This lip has gone nowhere. I have not touched it up, I have not blotted it, I have done absolutely nothing to it, but gone about my life. Big fan, NARS lip pigment. I gotta get more of these colors because this, Kind of longevity is amazing. Anyway, on to the video. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna start off talking about basically where to go. Where do you begin? So if you already have fragrances you like at home, look at what some of the notes are in those fragrances and some of the scents, and that can help you kind of narrow down what you like out of the notes and out of the scents to find another perfume that's maybe similar or maybe you like a little bit more. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do. I had a collection of like five perfumes I loved, and when I looked at them, they all had some of the exact same, they all had, I'm sorry, it's my phone, they all had some of the exact same scents and notes, and that really helped me narrow down from like smelling every single perfume that, you know, Sephora, Ulta, wherever carried. Um, so once you figure out what's in common, like, you know, you, you know you like sandalwood, they all happen to have sandalwood, or a lot of them have vanilla, etc. whatever that fragrance is, that will help you. Let's talk about the four main notes in fragrances. Um, the four top ones are floral, oriental, woody, and fresh. Um, those are the four top notes. That kind of is a good place to start for you. The florals would be the ones that um, have like berry scents or fresh flowers as examples. Oriental is more like the sandalwood patchouli. Um, a woodsy scent would be like a leather or an amber. And then the fresh scents are going to be more like aquatic scents or like the fresh linen type scents. Um, just to kind of give you guys a general overview of what these smell like. So when you're smelling a fragrance, there's different layers to the notes. So you've got the top notes. That's like your first impression. That's the first thing you smell when you spray the fragrance. Um, but it tends to not last very long. And that brings you to the heart notes, which is considered the heart of the fragrance. <laughs> and that's the note that um, lasts very long in the fragrance. Like it's a main note carried throughout the fragrance throughout your wear of it. And then you have the base notes. Um, and that is a lasting impression. Those notes last very, 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 very long. Very common base notes would be the sandalwood, the patchouli, the vanilla. Um, they stay with the fragrance. And the base notes and the heart notes together um, are really what create the full body of the fragrance. Okay, those top notes look kind of lilt away. And then you get your heart notes and your base notes. And that makes your fragrance for the long, for the long haul of you wearing it, okay? Um, a great way to figure out if you like fragrance, because let's be honest, perfume is expensive. You don't want to buy, you know, a $50 to $100 bottle of perfume, spray it on yourself for the first time and find out, I hate this fragrance or it doesn't work with my body chemistry. Um, it's important to not think it smells great on my friends, it will smell great on me. Not necessarily. Um, fragrance works with your body chemistry and you won't learn that until you've worn it for an extended period of time to get all those different notes and get it mixing with your body chemistry to see if it's something you're going to love or not. Um, to wear all the time. And then I just want to share, um, so samples are great, like these little guys. I love when I purchase stuff from like Sephora, they'll send me like these little sample guys here. I love these. A lot of places will do like the little sets, especially on the holidays with these little, I think they call them cofrets, these little like purse guys. They also have like the roller ball, ball fragrances, you can do those. Um, and then I just want to kind of go over some of my favorite scents because I'll just recommend some. I am more of a floral girl for sure. I do like some notes of citrus. I do like some um, oriental type notes, but for the most part, all the stuff I'm gonna love is gonna fall into the floral category, which is funny because 
In my house, sometimes I like the fresh fragrances, more of the linen, the lighter scents for like candles, but on me personally with my body chemistry, the florals are where it's at. Um, my go-to every single day fragrance is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. I love this little sucker. I've been wearing it for years now. Every time I wear this, someone's like, you smell so good, or you know, I get compliments. It's another thing. If you get compliments wearing it, it smells good on you. Keep wearing it. <laughs> There's no need to find you know, I love this one. It gets to the point where I don't always smell on myself after a while because I've worn it for years and years and years and years. And then I wanted to switch it up, but anyway, I just love this fragrance. It's a kind of like a, it's a fresh, but it's got a little, I mean, it's a, I'm sorry, not fresh. It's a floral scent, but it has um, a lot of sweet notes. So if you're not a fan of sweets, you won't like these. All the Juicy Couture ones kind of run along the floral sweet line. Um, I love all their fragrances, but um, Juicy by Juicy Couture. This one, my favorite. Um, I like certain fragrances just for special events. Um, Burberry used to be in like high school to like college. This was like my go-to signature scent. I still love this one, so I still buy it from time to time and I'll still wear it every now and again. I'm um, just kind of want to switch up my scent a little bit. This is a great everyday. Um, again, it's more like the floral. It's floral with a little bit of sweet. It's a little it smells like very like classy and elegant to me. I'm not sure how else to describe it. Um, I just, I love it. It's a beautiful scent. And then Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I love this scent. It is a very strong scent. I use it very lightly. Um, this one I love for special occasions. And this one, it's, it's such a floral. It's definitely a floral scent. So those of you who can't stand florals, not for you. And there's just, there's some sweet notes in it too, but it's just a beautiful scent. So if you, again, if you're like me and you love the florals, you like a little bit of sweet fragrance, the one is beautiful, but again, it can be a little overpowering. Um, one squirt of this for sure and you're done. I'm very, very, um, use this very sparingly because if you spray like three, like this one I'll put, you know, um, wrist. Oh, and don't rub, don't crush the fragrance. I know a lot of people do that. Just spritz, you can dab it, but I never rub it. Um, it just breaks up the particles and actually messes up its longevity and change the scent a little bit. But I'll put this wrist, usually I'll put like a squirt like between my neck and my upper chest. And then sometimes I like to put a squirt in my hair because it lasts in your hair a little bit longer. But like with something strong like this guy, nope, one and done. <laughs> just, a, just a forewarning. And my all time new favorite fragrance, and I do kind of save this one more for like date nights, nights out, although I will wear it during the day too because I love it that much and I don't care if a fragrance is for night or day. If I like it, I'm gonna put it on. Um, is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. This is like the little tiny bottle because this fragrance is so expensive. The big bottle that I'm dying to get is like $119. Um, but this girl's on a budget and I can't just be blowing $119 until I tested it out. So because I love the way the swatch smell, I sprayed it on me in the store, I went home, I still love the way it smelled later on. I decided I wanted to go ahead and test, I was gonna buy it, but then I went and I was like, oh, it's $119, I better be sure. I don't wanna waste $119 on a fragrance I can't wear for very long. So I got the purse spray version just to test out a little bit longer. And I'm still obsessed, so I'm gonna go ahead and just splurge and end up buying a full size bottle. But this one is beautiful. It's a different scent um, because it has notes of coffee in it. I've never bought anything with coffee in it before. I'm not much of like a coffee drinker. I'm more of like a chai tea girl. But this one's just, um, it's mostly floral. You can definitely smell like a little bit of coffee. It kind of fades as you wear it. And it's just like a super like sultry, seductive scent. I don't have another way to put it. You put this on, you're gonna feel like a bombshell like ready to take on whatever challenge is coming your way and just, it's super sexy, super feminine, and I'm obsessed. This is my new favorite, I <laughs> can't talk. This is my absolute new favorite fragrance. So between the Viva La Juicy and this Yves Saint Laurent um, Black Opium, I got my daytime, I got my nighttime, work, date, I'm good to go. But I just kinda wanna share that stuff with you guys. Oh, another good thing is layering fragrances. If you feel like you love your scent, it's a lighter scent, but it's not lasting as long as you want it to, or you're going to a special event, or you're going out and you want it to last throughout the night, you can layer it with different things. You know, some of them come with body sprays too. My favorite is to get like the lotion. This is the Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture Lotion Souffle. 
And um, if I have a special event or really want it to last or I want it in different places, I'll mix this either in with my lotion, if my lotion doesn't have a scent on its own, or I'll just put this on on its own. Um, sometimes I like to uh, like dilute it down with a lotion that doesn't have a scent, so I can put it everywhere. Um, but you can just put it in like, certain spots if you want to like hang on to it, whatever. You put it where you want to put it. But if you put this and then you spray this on over, you will have longevity in your fragrance because you have layered it. Anyway, I think that's basically it for my Perfume 101. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to send them in the comments below. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I just know like, I'm big on fragrance buying and trying new fragrances, but it took me a little bit to figure out the best way to basically make sure I'm making the right investment and make sure the scent's gonna work on me. Anyway, I hope you have a beautiful day. <laughs>